An axial flow compressor has the following design data. Inlet stagnation temperature is 290. Inlet stagnation pressure is 1 bar. Stage stagnation temperature rise is 24. Mass flow rate of air is 22. Mass flow rate of air is 22 kg. Axial velocity of flow is v Vf. Rotational speed is 152 R RPS. Mean blade velocity is 205. Reaction at the mean radius is 50%. So degree of reaction is 50%. Alpha 1 equal to beta 2. You have to find out blade and air angles at mean radius, mean radius and the blade height. In this figure we have the radius of the hub, this one is radius of the tip. So mean radius will come somewhere in between this. You have to calculate this mean radius. This one is annular area. Inlet stagnation temperature is 290 that is T01. Inlet stagnation pressure equal to 1 bar that equal to P01. Rise in the stagnation temperature is 24 and mass flow rate is 22. Flow velocity is 155.5 and the rotational speed is 152 revolution per second. So we multiplied by 64 RPM. The work done factor is 0.93 and the mean blade speed is 205. Degree of reaction is 0.5. So alpha 1 equal to beta 2 and alpha 2 equal to beta 1. In this figure, this line indicates the mean diameter. And on basis of mean diameter D, we can define the velocity U that equals to pi dn. And we have the blade height here equals to H. So this one is the diameter at the hub, this one is diameter at the tip and this one is called as mean diameter. And using this mean diameter we can calculate u. So u is equal to pi dn by, so u is equal to pi dn by 60. Uh, from this uh, u we can find out d first. Now to find out area we have to require height first. So this one is height of the blade. So that is what actually the blade height is, h is blade height. So if you develop this one, this length will become pi d and the height is h. So this one is the area, this one is called as annulus area. So the flow velocity is perpendicular to this area. So multiplied by this area will be the volumetric flow rate and if we multiply by density that will become the mass flow rate. So here the density rho is basically is calculated as P by RT where T should be the static temperature where we are given the stagnation temperature. So you need to calculate the static. To calculate the blade, air, uh, blade angles at inlet and outlet uh, we have the two equation one is for the work done for one stage. So for one stage we have this is Cp multiplied by T02 dash minus T01. So this difference is known to us multiplied by U multiplied by Vf into tan beta 1 minus tan beta 2 multiplied by work done factor is K. Second equation we can use for degree of reaction equals to Vf by twice U tan beta 1 and tan beta 2. So using these two equations we can find out beta 1 and beta 2 first. So we have Cp into T02 dash minus T01 equal to U into Vf into tan beta 1 minus tan beta 2 multiplied by K. We will substitute this value and we will find out tan beta 1 minus tan beta 2. So we have Cp equal to 1005, T02 dash minus T01 that difference is 24, U is 205, Vf is given as 155, we do not know beta 1 and beta 2 and factor K is 0.93. So we get tan beta 1 minus tan beta 2 equal to 0.814. Let's say this is equation number 1. Second equation we will use for the work done. Second equation we will use for degree of reaction that is uh, degree of reaction equal to Vf by twice C into tan beta 1 plus tan beta 2. So let's for, put for degree of reaction equals to 0.5. Vf equals to 155. U is equals to 205. We do not know beta 1 and beta 2. So we got tan beta 1 plus tan beta 2 equal to 1.318. Let's say equation number 2. We can solve equation 1 and 2 for beta 1 and beta 2. So we got beta 1 equal to 46.83 that equals to alpha 2 and beta 2 equal to 14.14 equal to alpha 1. Next we will proceed for the mean radius. So mean radius we can calculate from this value of u. So u is equal to pi dn by 60 and value of n is 152 multiplied by 60. So see this 60 and this 60 will cancel. So u is equals to 205 with ref with pi d and value of n is 152. So we can get diameter d. So diameter come out to be 0.43 meters and R come out to be 0.215 meters. Required density, density is given by P by RT. So what we required is a static temperature. Static temperature can be calculated using this equation that is T01. We know the value of T01. Somehow you have to calculate the value of V1. Once we know V1, we can calculate T1. So if you see the inlet triangle, you will get this value equals to alpha 1. This value equals to V1. The, this component is called as flow velocity at inlet which is constant so we write Vf only and this one is velocity of wall at inlet. So we know the value of V1, we know the value of alpha 1 that is 14.14 so we can calculate V1. So cos alpha 1 is equal to Vf divided by V1 so we can get value of V1. So 
So I get V1 equal to Vf. Vf is equals to 155.5 and alpha 1 I got 14.4. So I get 160.13. The stagnation temperature is given as T0 1 equal to T1 plus 1 by 2 V square by Cp. This one is V1 square. So we have T0 1 equal to 290, T1 we don't know, 1 by 2, V1 square is 160.13 square and Cp is 1005. So we get value of T1. This one is called as static temperature and this one is called as stagnation temperature. Density is always calculated on static, not on stagnation. The relation between the stagnation and static is given by P01 divided by P1 is same as T01 divided by T1 to the power gamma upon gamma minus 1. T01 you have to substitute as 1 bar, T01 you have to substitute as 290, T1 you have to substitute as 277, gamma is 1.4. From this you can calculate the value of pressure P1. So pressure P1 is given as 0.854 bar. Hence now we can calculate density based on static property that equals to P1 divided by R into T1. So P1 is equal to 0.854 10 to the power 5, R is 287 and T1 equal to 277. So we can get static density. Finally use the equation of M dot equal to rho into pi d into H into Vf. M dot is known to us. So M dot is known to is 22. Density we have 1.073 pi. D we have calculated as 0.43. Height we don't know and Vf is equals to 155. So if you solve this you will get height. So finally you got h equal to 0 0.098 meter that is very close to 0 0.1 meters or we can say 10 cm.